Yone Yasuo Samira Kane, yeah. This this is this is perfect example. This is the most season eleven comp I've seen in my life. Uh so yeah, it's gonna be great. They're just missing a nasty support like Nautilus to enable them all or some shit. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so Yone trades. He's uninterruptible during his ult. So that's the most annoying thing about Yone in the in this matchup. You can't really do anything when he ults, but you can fear him right after the ult, I guess. Um, so the idea is to either fear him after he dashes with E, so you trade and go back. Essentially like negating his entire E trade. Or wait for ult, then fear him and then try to look for an all-in or escape. Zonyas is one of the key key items here. So. I'm not exactly sure what is the best option to either go Rift Maker first or go Nashers first. Probably Nashers is more versatile, but Halo Blades kind of makes up for the attack speed, so you can go. Eh, I think Nashers is fine. Nasher into Lich Bane? Uh, that also works, yeah. I thought Lich Bane third would be optimal because we need to get this. We need to enable Rift Maker. Rift Maker makes us a little tankier and she's pretty cool. Yeah, she's one of the best walk-in animations. Like, they just made her feet ridiculously tiny. She's she's the size of a minion, look at that. We can punish every third Yone uh, Q with a passive. Oh, that's the new skin, it's so cool. That's the Halo Blades, we get three attacks immediately, you know. Three attacks on insane speed. If he goes forward, I want him to go Calm forward. Because then you can do this. You do extra damage because he just dashed. And then you punish him. Look at this. This is just cannon, cannon bullying. I can fight again in 7 seconds. We wait for fear. Decent trade. I probably overcommitted a bit, hoping for a lethal, but the trade itself is pretty solid. And now we have him where we want him, guys. Juked. Juked the Q. Very nice. I gotta go back fast. Uh, he's gonna TP. Okay, get the hell out. I'm gonna look for EQ trades now. You just have to fear him, except I didn't have it, you know? We got it back after a second, so not a terrible trade. That being said, he misplayed that. It's all about tracking your passive here. Fear him back, get away to avoid the trade. Slow him for the Ore tech. Miss an Ore tech. If I can't be happy, no one can. <laughs> the map curvature to chase him down. Feels good to see Yone get bullied? Yeah. It's not the worst matchup though. Yone is not the worst matchup. Like, it really is a bit more obvious with her engages. He only has the double dash mechanic and ult with a triple dash. So he does have ways to outplay me. So it's just a continuous game of, like, who gets better setup, you know? I'll just do this to soften the wave, because he won't really be diving me. We take the minor trade. And if he goes in, he's too low to fight, and then we just straight up in. So the idea is just to keep him at the ropes all the time. So they can never trade. When they get fed up, they go for a bad trade and they lose. Okay, that's how we want to dispel. That's the I was in that pocket. I was in the second pocket. There's two pockets. One after the E, one after the, the EQ, you know? If you're in between, you get fucked. You get absolutely fucked, because if you can't W him before he gets the EQ. It's a very, very intricate matchup. 
You can still beat me here, so we have to watch out. You obviously need to have fear. He's gonna look to ult. The only way to kill him is to ult him first. Okay, even then I failed. Feels bad. Good play by him. I like that, very clean. Obvious greed on my part. I, I obviously skipped a recall and used teleport. We could have brute force that. So that would be the correct play, but we're just trying to push the limits. Well, he never really stood a chance in that one. Okay, this is too much to penetrate without Herald, so I'll just recall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. We're starting off with a with a core build. Now, after this, you're just really, really good. A lot of AD, a lot of AP, attack speed, you know, on hit stuff. And yeah, the idea is to get tankier as well, so. Yeah, nothing better than seeing like champions like Yone get get a bit hindered, you know. I mean, this whole idea of, of Vex as a champion is kind of brilliant. Like, Vex is one of the best additions into game, like for for sure, by far, because champions with infinite jumps are actually have to start thinking before jumping now, because they're they're viable for punishment, obviously. So you can't be brained. It's gonna make them think and elevate the like the entire game level. Like everyone is gonna have to start becoming a, a lot better. You know, she adds another dimension. She punishes the unpunishables. She's a anti-assassin mage instead of anti-mage assassin. She's a reverse Cassidy, essentially. I can't do more road attacks because I don't want to be insulting. The Q was a fake. <laughs> I just wanted him to move towards the right slightly. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the thing is you have pretty solid base damage, so you don't necessarily suffer too much. Because a lot of your damage comes from passive, a lot of your damage comes from your abilities. So by going this attack speed Nasher route, you're not losing too much burst damage, but you're gaining in, in, like, invaluable utility and lane control versus stuff like this. You have better split push, you have better turret destruction. You can deny them, which is like the best thing you can do ever in a game. Like, Cause that tilts enemies. And tilt is the way to create impact. Just making someone not be able to lane properly is just wonderful. And yeah, W max is 12 second, not a huge cooldown. You can even go for like a CDR variant. This is a plated steel caps game again. Throwing for content. Yep. I can't really catch up without that, so. Yeah, I couldn't really catch up without that one, but. Good thing is, I used all my abilities before she could block, and when she blocks, she can't block my W. I don't care at that point. Yeah, your Q base damage is pretty high, so leveling it up is very nice. You get a lot of points per every point. So the, the damage ratio is nice just on, on levels alone. You can still wave clear fast if necessary. Okay, he dodged my ult. Look how tanky I am. If I hit my ult or... Eh, I couldn't evade it. He would just wait inside until he goes out. Insane, you know? I might die here. You can ult, so I gotta run. Okay. Kinda insane control in this build, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'll do one more camp. We have to fear like this, except that I missed, you know? Look at that, holy shit. Just gobble her up. 
Now we would want Zonyas in this build. And th versus their comp. Plated skill steel cap Zonyas and you're you're kinda unkillable. You sustain, you shield. You would buy another shield in like in stasis and then shield would also heal you. You would get Hail of Blades back. Like yeah, passive skills with levels tremendously. Much like Velkus, so. Except she just fares a lot better than Velkus because she has some mobility and she has utility. I really didn't use that Q for poke, I just got greedy there. Sucks we won't get to the full build, I would really like to see that, but I imagine they're gonna surrender any second. So yeah, for this particular game, um, ideal build would be probably Zonyas and then getting... I mean, Lich Bane is so much fun, uh, but it would probably be better to go Cosmic Drive. Cosmic Drive and D-Cap, yeah? I'm gonna try to fight Blue King. Fair enough. We're playing the initiator disruptor role, you know? It's very versatile, I can also do the cleanup and stuff. Okay, dude. No! Okay, that's why I wanted to do it, but his range is just huge. That's why I flash W to fear him before he's in range, but Blue King can just if he touches you, he can ult you from anywhere. And his W is a bit of a bullshit hitbox, so he touches you with it no matter what. <laughs> yeah, goddammit. My bad. Oh later looks. Come back, come back to my pantheon. That's what you get for trying. Yeah, and if you're going Muramana, you would probably do PTA. Muramana PTA, right? Look at that Halo Blades. Bring it down a Well played. Very nice. It would be interesting to try a little bit of a more um, AD approach. That would be very, very interesting. It would be good. It would be better for bullying top players. <laughs> 